Hello, Mr. Trick here. Welcome. Uh, another exciting episode of Mr. Trick's music production. Yeah. Um, so today we're going to look at a track by uh, LMZG that I remixed. Um, I remixed it a few years ago and I've done a special VIP remix which contains less vocals and more bass. Um, so today I'm going to uh, get into it and have a look at how I made it and focus more on the Reese bass and the, the low end and trying to get um, all your bass low end frequencies kind of uh, solid. And that's what I'm really happy about with, with this track. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, so the orig out of the original track, um, I got given this sound, which is pretty cool, um, which consists of the high synth, low, medium synth, and a low kind of bassy sound um, that I kind of did some cool effects on, speeding up, slowing down. So, and they're all very heavily panned each side. Um, and then I also got, so I also got their vocals as well. This was the vocals from the chorus. Um, and um, they were kind of chopped up a bit. Kind of like your hip hop type chops. So that kind of inspired me to ask my man Richie Fitz, uh, Mr. Fitz in the building, to do some scratching. Which is freaking cool. Um, I think some of them I kind of touched up and tweaked and edited. I use a little a uh, really cool uh, plugin called Effects Tricks, which is really cool for doing lots of different sounds you can see here. Um, very glitchy. Um, so yeah, check that out if you can. So, um, before I get onto the bass, let's just look, a quick look at the drums. Um, I had a little tiny break here. Which is just great. Loads of stuff on there. This thing here, RX 950, it basically makes it sound like an old school sampler, like the MPC stuff. So I take that off. Just gives it like a harder, gritty. I don't know, it just makes it sound better. A little bit like Camel Crusher. But, uh, yeah, so it gives it kind of old school feel. Nothing too impressive on that. Um, and then you've got your big break here. Uh, shouts to Dandelion for sort of sorting me that out. Um, yeah, very much like your Apache type of tunes. Um, and then tambourine snare. A reverse snare is always quite, always quite fun. Uh, and then I've got um, some kick and snare going on. On there, like big, big bold kick. Um, and that's about it. That's about it for the drums. But what I wanted to talk about today, this focus is on this sound. You've got sub. L big shouts to anyone who uses Trillion and knows how difficult this sub is. It's a synth. It's really good. Um, but it just takes up a lot of CPU. But really nice emulation of classic synths. So if I can open this up, see? It does all this sort of malarkey. Uh, yeah, you've got this kind of two, two, uh, ARP 2600 sine waves, which is like emulator of this thing. Um, I won't go too much into the geeky stuff, um, but yeah, it sounds wicked, um, so. 
if you've got your speakers on, you can hear that. So, done a little bit of trimming here, and so, basically bringing out the frequency where the kick drum's hitting, and you've got your kick drum here, depending on which way this angle goes, so to the left, I think it'll probably be that side, um, is the sub, and then the kick drum is here, and then that's it. So they're kind of doing that sort of action. Um, but as you can, if you if you're like me and you make bass lines that kind of go all over the shop rather than just on one note, um, it's quite tricky because you've then got this C sharp, which as you can see is kind of hitting around sixty-seven. Let's put that back. Um, and then it goes down to this E. It's very low down here. Um, so it's moving all around the shop. So what I've done here is I've brought out the low end. So when it goes down lower, obviously the hertz are moving less. So it's 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 being quieter. So you have to ramp that up. Another really cool effect to then ramp it up even more is called low air, which when well, you know what I was talking about here before, this is your kick drum and this is your sub. Low air kind of pushes this that direction uh, and brings that up so if you've got something like span as well you can see it comes up here so if I take it off you will see hopefully there's it just brings out a little bit more there it's really, sorry, it's really badly demonstrated there you go and then take it off not on those notes Very subtle, but trust me, it's there. Um, I've also chucked on this thing as well, which uh, beefs up the low end as well, MV2. It, it's great. Ju um, big shouts to Binge uh, for, uh, from D D who produces the Dirty Moonshine stuff. He said, small increments, which I think is just a brilliant little tip um, to give anyone of stuff like uh, mastering you just adding a little bit limiter there a, limit, a maximizer there and there and it, this is what it's doing it's just pushing the general vibe of everything up so i've got uh, i'll talk about the mastering in a bit but small increments it's just a brilliant little tip you're lifting something then lifting it again then lifting it again using different techniques such as um you know distortion compression limiting eq all little bits here and there and then that's what makes your sounds great uh, and then I've got instead of just doing a side chain a normal side chain your, your standard side chain that brings the whole volume down and up when the kick drum comes in you know what I'm saying there it's this is a weird action uh, I've used the waves c6 most side chains do this again you can do this in Ableton you can do it in whatever so I've hit, found the frequency of where the kick drum is coming, which you can see is I've chosen 60 hertz. And then it, when the kick drum comes in on channel 16, um, it's just dipping it. So, again, all these little details really help you when it comes to lifting the volume of the track uh, in the end. Because bass is so hard to control sometimes. Um, and so if I can just play the kick drum, I think it's, okay, let's try and listen. So you can see it's dipping there as it's coming through. It's super subtle. Um, you don't want to overdo your side chaining, um, but you know it's there. Um, also, my kind of rule of thumb, don't take this as gospel, you can do whatever, is like 5 dB, around 5 dB, be when you're compressing we do because that's quite 5 db depending on how you look at it and how you do your mix downs is is quite a good a sufficient amount um, anything more than that you will notice that's my rule of thumb uh, so that's your sub and then the reese this is the tricky one this is the one where i've just been control trying to control this beast of a sound um so your classic jungle uh, Reese, uh, I did a little weird ver like on unit version of it. I don't know if I watched a video on him. Uh, shouts to that guy. So 
not I'm super happy with this it's taking me a long time to get to it I'm just gonna take that off I think I probably used to come across it at one point and then just didn't so let me take everything off and show you what it looks like without so you got still sounds wicked but what you get is you just get this frequency playing and it's so loud like it's so it just over just blasts everything out of frequencies um so i've got a side chain there compressor that is side chaining again just bring it bringing the volume down but not in the frequency just bringing it down when the kick drum comes in because it's just overpowering the whole mix um and then raising up the top uh bringing out the tops and then again this was it was now now because the reese is slightly higher than the sub it's competing with the kick drum it's competing with the the um shuffles no not compete with the kick drum the snare sorry it's competing with the snare and the shuffles it's like around this this frequency so i'm trying to control that um uh so then i've just got rid of all this fab filter Pro Q 2 and 3, they're great. This just gets rid of the stereo spread, the low end. Um, also, if you want to get hold of a really good um, plug-in for stereo spread, BX Digital, I cannot recommend them enough. They're great. There's some free stuff on there as well. Uh, my computer's just decided to... Uh, so so now I've done the compression of that the whole thing but then I've put a C6 uh on top as well to compress the snare. So this is compressing the snare now. Um so it's on bus 23. So I've got like the kick drum bouncing it and the the snare moving it. So now you've got lots of movement and then stuck on L2 limiter as well. L2 limiter, um, like any limiter, um, if you bring around the threshold and the output, it squashes it rather than the threshold because then you're just making it louder. Uh, and uh, I learned that recently. I used to bring down the threshold and then the whole thing that sounded great and it was just like, again, small increments. Um, Camel Crusher um, for the top end, making it slightly crispier. And then, what if I used here? Decapitator. Boom. So uh, the Camel Crusher is doing the high end distortion and the Decapitator is doing the low end distortion. Cannot recommend these bad boys enough. They're great. So, together, you've got kind of a growly. Well, it is doing a lot there now, but if I solo the kick and the snare we should be able to see what um what's going on with them but i'm not going to play the snare and the kick i'm just playing the signal that they are giving it uh so we can see gotta play where's that where's that where's that where's that where's that where you at 23 23 i haven't soloed it um Ah. It's over here. Is there anything coming through? Yeah, boom. Oh, I think that's that's basically... I think that's the uh, shuffles. So it is... It's taking me a long time to get there. Um, also, to add that on top of that, I was like, mm, will you be able to hear it in... Um, on crappy speakers and all that? So a little bit of top end. Now this stuff I'm really happy with. This is like top end kind of um well not super top, like distorted above your reese. So you've got your sub in the low, then you've got your your jungle reese low mid, and then your mid distortion. And then this just really makes it sound a lot better. You can go too loud on this, but you re like it would sound great. 
but again, you don't want it to clash if you bring the volume up too much. And last, it's your white noise. And I brought this quite high up because I want it more rhythmical as well. And then you've got your mid freaks. So what am I going to do there? Let's do some crazy bass sounds. Stuff done. I made some suit tunes. Uh, made some sounds and some tunes. Made some sounds and put them in. So they just jump out here. So you build this really nicely, and then I've got some loop sounds going on as well, just like piercing through. The frequencies on these are different, like that one or that one. So, yeah, again, I think I've, yeah, I've tried to bring that down, but it's just like really hard. Good stick of Oh gosh, look how many plugins you got. Uh, far too many. Um, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to plugins, you can tell. So look, bringing the whole thing down and then take it off. Um, See, look, I scored. Still, it's six, it's still kind of good. Um, if you play my tunes out of a phone, which, or a laptop, which I'm... And no judgement, but if a guy's made a tune and spent ages uh, producing it, it, it's nice for people to play it out or on good speakers. So you, you see the art as art, as it, as it is, you know. You wouldn't want a painter uh, to do a painting and say, check out my painting, and you go, wait one second, let me put my beer goggles on and you see it all distorted. So it's nice, I think, respectfully to play music how it's supposed to be received. But my point being is the flute sound will probably be quite harsh um, through a phone or speaker. So that's your bass, that's my sub. Um, add some really cool sword sounds as well uh, for a kind of Japanese kind of vibe. The flute kind is of as well. So that's it, that's your tune, um, hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial, um, again any questions um, you have feel free to ask in the comments below, um, stay safe, be productive, be creative, and if you want me to break down any tunes let me know, did I already say that? I don't know, Mr. Trick, peace and love, download the tune, free download, ciao.